I'll take a look upstairs. Let's take a little look, you know? Anyways. <laughs> Yo, what up guys? Toaster here back with another video and today we're back with Murder House. I made a promise in the last part of Murder House that if we hit 20 likes on the video, then we would make a part two. I think we hit 20 likes. I don't know. At the moment I'm recording this, it's before I even uploaded the first part. So I hope we hit 20 likes for us. This is kind of embarrassing. But uh, hopefully we hit 20 likes. If we did, then here's your part two. If we did it, then uh, you're getting a part two anyway. In the last part of Murder House, we got to this house and we had to find a way in after the prologue, of course. So um, now we got to go turn on the power in the basement. And you guys know how I feel about basements. So let's just hop right into this, you know? Oh, no. Did I forget to save? All right, guys. All right, guys, we're back to where we entered the basement now. Can't believe I'm breaking into a house. It sure is creepy in here. Yeah, I'd fully agree. Oh my God, can you get through the doorway? Velma, off-brand Velma, Dollar Tree Velma. Ooh, drying machine. Hey, 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 I don't like the brow sound. <gasps> All right, guys, we gotta find a way to open up the front door. Uh, we already did it last time, so hopefully it shouldn't be that hard of a task. I'm gonna definitely start playing more puppet combo games. These are absolutely amazing. I hope this hard work pays off. Me too. Me too, off-brand Velma. Why is it always the basement? And now it's Sally. We're gonna get jump scared or something, and it's gonna suck. All right, this should be the this should be the box. An average fuse box. Wait, I think a fuse is missing. We gotta find a fuse. Do we actually gotta go like just search through drawers till we find a fuse? Alright, uh, so we gotta go find the right drawers, so I'll be back once we find them. By the way, guys, my volume is still all the way up, man. I gotta make Zach proud, you know? We gotta make our boy Zach proud. Oh, God, I am not... What the heck did we just do? We just pulled up. We just walked on the side of the stairs like we just said, nope, not today. Bro, what the... Maybe it's in here? It might be in here. I don't know. We've searched a few rooms already, so let's take a look. No, nothing's inside. Yes! Great, it looks like a fuse. I hope it's the right size. All right, let's just go out. Let's let's go find our way back to our little uh, basement. Ah! Oh my god, who was that? <sighs> who was the little word? Oh my god, this scared me so bad. All right, now we have the fuse. So now we got to go all the way back down to the basement. And, uh, put this fuse in. Turn on the power, maybe. Watch some movies on the TV. Alright, so let's head into the basement. Let's see how this goes. Probably not gonna go well at all. By the way, while we're here, um, I might as well say this. I'm still on my vacation by the time you guys are seeing this, but I am almost done with it. So, we should be back to streaming pretty soon. Is something inside the dryer? Yo, it's probably a corpse or something. Yeah, th there's probably like a corpse or something in there. And we're probably gonna discover it later, which absolutely sucks. Anyways, let's uh, let's go back inside this room, of course. Let's just go back inside this room. Let's uh. Hey, the power's back on. Yeah, you're welcome. That was all me. Give me some money. Hey Gary, I was thinking we could. I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. Hey, yo, Gary, that's kind of, that's kind of... I hate this job. Hey, yo, Dana, you probably shouldn't say that in front of, like, your boss or something. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country. His horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight, we'll go inside his vacant home, where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced Tears. Inside the home of Sir Cut. Let's take a break. 
scary. A break I already. It's been two one. minutes. It's been 60 minutes, Dana. It's channel fucking nine. We're not here to win a Pulitzer. I mean, you should still try hard. <laughs> Maybe Dana isn't so bad at all. But we're going to call Dana Becky. Here, let's take a look upstairs. Let's take a little look, you know? Anyways. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I'm going to play a replay on the screen just so you guys can see what I saw if you guys didn't catch it the first time. Anyways. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? Yo, let's tell our... Let's tell the cameraman, man. <laughs> I just had a weird premonition. Oh. Never mind. Oh. I probably sound crazy, don't I? What do you think of this place? It's fine, I guess. It's kind of spooky, though. Yeah, now that you mention it. You better be careful. Let me know if anything suspicious happens. I like this okay, Tom guy. Uh, keep that in mind. This Tom guy's kind of chill. We just uh, won't question the dead bodies that we saw. Dana's head was on the floor. <laughs> like, oh, separate from her body. That's where we were supposed to go. Hey, sweetie. I'm so thirsty from all that talking. Can you fetch me a glass of water? You said like 20 words. <laughs> oh, you're so thirsty after all that reading. Shut up. Yeah, let's get the dirty cup that's probably been there for at least 10 years. Let's, let's fill it up with dirty tap water. Let's see how dirty this water is. I don't know why it's so blue. <laughs> oh, we're setting lots up. Here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. Me? Me? No. Yeah, we said that at the same time. Put this shit on. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? No one's gonna want to watch this boring thing, and your dry reporting isn't helping. I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts. Okay, intern. When Dana says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right, let's do this. All right, let's do it. We got a very important job, guys. He still haunts the grow up. I need to run through the door. Okay. Action. The rampage started in late March 1979 when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Oh crap, yeah, that's our cue. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home. Oh, uh, ooh. God damn it, I said run by, not stand in the shot. A deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, did you get that? I apologize to the viewers at home. <laughs> But I just felt an energy pass by behind me. Oh my god. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. Cut! This is Raiden's gold. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Yo, I just realized this scary guy sounds like uh, Heisenberg from Resident Evil 8. Great timing. I'm going to go use the restroom. Bad idea. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Take the van. Oh, do we gotta go take the van? Oh no. I feel like we're gonna come back and everyone's just gonna be dead. You know what, Becky, Becky may not be that bad. Yeah, she may be annoying, but I mean, Gary's kind of annoying. Tom is obviously the best character, though, besides us. Let's check out this room. So it's locked, right? So. I will say so. This is like a safe point room. I will say from this room, like, I didn't do gender mapping. to write down my podcast. Thank God. Oh, I needed one of these. What is this on the ground? It's like a really old flashlight. Someone dropped to take it. Yes. Well, this depends on the ground right here. Oh, look at that. Please, can I pick it up? Will you take the pencil? Yes, I will. Well, guess what, bro? I have a pencil. Yes. 
Ah, uh, yes, I would love to save the game. We need to find another pencil to save again. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, guys, we made some pretty good progress. So I think I'm going to cut off the episode of here. Um, actually, let me know in the comments. Should I do another video part or should I play the game on stream? I would like to know you what you guys think. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to leave that like and, of course, leave a comment. Tell me how your day is going. Uh, I'm going to go now and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.